Bill and Ben are twin tank engines who often help around the China clay pits or the harbor at the end of Edwards Branch Line. They have been around for a long time and have gotten accustomed to the routines of both lines. Although they're hard workers, they get off to be mischievous and get up to tricks. Edward and Boko keep a watchful eye over them and keep them in mind. Boko was a new addition to the branch line. Because of this, Boko is often the main center of their pranks. I'm exhausted, sighed Boko as he spoke to Edward. Those two keep giving me a run for my money, and I can't keep them in line at all. I don't want them to keep playing hide the trucks every time I come into the yard. I've been late almost every day this week. That is a problem, agreed Edward. They need to stop playing pranks on you. We need to find a way to stop their deceitful behavior. Two engines thought long and hard. But then the guard's whistle blew for Edward's slow goods. Sorry, Boko. I must be off. We'll continue this later. With that, Edward set off down the line. Edward coasted down the main line. All the while, he couldn't help but think about how to make Bill and Ben behave better. Then, Donald Douglas passed by, giving Edward a hearty whistle as they were pulling a slow goods train. Edward looked at them, and soon beamed. That's it! he exclaimed. I know just how to make those two behave. Later that afternoon, he explained everything to the Scottish twins. They smirked and looked at each other before looking back to Edward. They may have been around longer than us, said Donald, but we still have many tricks up our smoke boxes. Didn't fast yourself, Edward, Douglas smiled. We'll soon settle them. Bill and Ben never met the Scottish twins. They were too busy working in the clay pits. Edward knew this, as did the twins. The next day, Donald was at the harbor, waiting for the china clay the twins were braiding. His driver and fireman had removed his nameplate beforehand, preventing the twins from knowing who he was. At last, Bill and Ben arrived. Who are you? asked Bill. My name's Donald. You must be Bill and Ben. Edward had told me you have a train for me. Bill and Ben eyed each other and smirked. They were eager to trick a new engine. Both twins looked back at him. Indeed, piped Ben. But we need to organize the train together. Wait here. The twins set off to the sidings. They were going to put together the wrong train. Donald knew this all too well. As the twins rounded the bend, they were surprised to see Donald pulling up from the siding next to them. 
And I heard you don't have the tricks as well. Do it right and we won't have any problems. He then rolled back into the siding, vanishing from her sight. Bill and Ben were shocked. Who was that? Ben stammered. He wasn't there a minute ago, exclaimed Bill. The twins behaved and assembled his correct train. When they returned, they were surprised to see Donald with a familiar looking engine with a number 10 on his tender. Bill and Ben pulled alongside and couldn't help but laugh. We should have known! You're also twins, said Ben. You two are the only ones who have pulled tricks, laughed Douglas. But take it from us, warned Donald. Tricks can be fun, but there's always a time and place. They can cause problems, and nobody likes that. Bill and Ben smiled warmly. We're sorry, they said in unison. The Scottish twins gave a friendly whistle before setting off with their train. The clay twins watched them puff away and decided they should behave. At least for now.